Our breaking news coverage at the Zionsville home of Subway spokesperson Jared Fogel. Federal and state investigators are out there right now for what we have confirmed is a child pornography investigation. And this just in from a spokesman from Subway who gave us a statement saying, quoting here, we are shocked about the news and believe it is related to a prior investigation of a former Jared Foundation employee. We are very concerned and will be monitoring this situation closely. We don't have any more details at this point. So that from a spokesman from the uh, subway uh, company. Now the scene continues to be a fluid situation there in Zionsville. Investigators have been coming and going, removing items from the house. And our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson has been there from the beginning. So let's begin our team coverage with Steve. Yeah, Scott, I was the first reporter here at Jared's home in Zionsville when uh, officers from the Indiana Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force arrived here at the home for that search warrant. That was about 6.30 this morning. For the most... <clears throat> We believe with his attorney, Ron Ellenberger, who picked him up in front of his house and drove away uh, that video just in within the last half hour. We also have exclusive video of Jared here at the house as the task force officers uh, conducted that search here at his home. They uh, removed items from his home, electronic items, including laptops. We also saw one of the agents carry out a stack of DVDs. In his driveway is parked their mobile forensics unit. It. They are analyzing the items brought out of his house inside that mobile van. Now, uh, Jared's wife and children left the home shortly after. It's a part of an investigation that's ongoing uh, centered around child pornography. Now, this all started uh, again at 630 morning. This is an ongoing investigation. We will continue to follow and bring you information as it becomes available. Back to you in the studio, Scott. Thanks. We'll be uh, monitoring your coverage out there from Zionsville. Now, just over a couple of months ago, officers arrested the executive director of Jared's Foundation. That's Fogel's charity to battle child obesity. This is Russell Taylor, who faces seven counts of production and one count of possession of child pornography. Taylor served eight years as the head of Fogel's Foundation. His home was also raided. Many items confiscated out of this house. Investigators say they discovered hundreds of videos of children made using secret cameras in Taylor's home. And along with the media, Fogel's neighbors are gathering outside to see what's happening on their street. Our live team coverage continues today with Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Klein. She's been talking with neighbors. So, Carrie, what are you hearing from them? Hey, good afternoon, Scott. We are hearing a lot, as you can imagine. This has created quite a stir here in this neighborhood, a very quiet, close-knit community. What they tell us is that the Fogels have lived here for about four years. They have two younger children around the ages of two and three and a half. And Jared's mother-in-law frequently comes over to keep the children. They say this family is very friendly. They always wave. Jared has been very active even with the neighborhood association. But yet, given all of that, when we asked one neighbor whether or not he was shocked by the information that Jared Vogel, spokesperson for Subway, was being investigated for child pornography, here was his response. Not really. People are people. It happens everywhere. And uh, I'm just happy that if that is the case, they're finding out about it and can take some action. And that has also been a sentiment we have heard repeatedly here. There are a lot of families that live in this neighborhood, and particularly within this block around the Fogel home, a lot of young children and school-age children. Neighbors tell us they do a very good job, they believe, watching one another's children and watching out for each other, and certainly hearing that something like this could have been going on right in their backyard is very disturbing. But they are taking a wait-and-see approach, really sticking to that innocent until proven guilty, certainly hoping it's not true. But again, as that gentleman just said, thankful that it, if it is, if it is, that it has been stopped at this point. But we're going to continue to monitor this case throughout the day on the air, on social media, and online at WTHR.com. For now, reporting live from Zionsville, Carrie Klein, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, Carrie, thanks for that live report. Eyewitness News was the first television station at the Fogel House when that raid began early this morning. We posted lots of pictures from the scene on our website. Also on WTHR.com, you'll find the story of Jared 
and how he became the Subway spokesperson. We'll also have the statement that I just read from Subway. Again, that's all found for you on WTHR.com.